Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen, where I guide you through creating a little piece of art one step at a time. Today I'm using a Micron plastic nib pen and a little two inch by two inch bijou tile from Zentangle.com. All right, today I'm going to show you how to make an embedded letter. Okay, so to make our embedded letter, the first thing we need to do is pick a letter and draw it. I'm going to do a K because K is the first letter of my name. So I'm just going to draw a K. This works with absolutely any letter. Okay, so now I need to thicken up this letter, and to do that, I'm actually going to put a little line on each end. And then I'm going to come in from that line and just go down in like that and fill that in. Do the same thing right here. I'm going to curve in, go back out to meet that other line, curve in and go back out, and fill in the inside. Okay, my last part. Coming out like that. And filling it in. All right, once I have it filled in, I do want to thicken the parts that are really thin. So now I'm just going to a few more times Come out and thicken that. So when I do this part here, I'm just going to go right along the side of it a couple of times. If I need to curve this out more, I can. Just making that thicker. And this one here, same thing. That's why I like using this thicker pen for this part. Okay, if I think that's enough, I'm going to stop. If not, I can go back and add a little bit more. You do want a pretty nice, bold letter. Okay, I should probably stop playing with that. All right, once I get my letter made, I'm going to aura around the entire thing. So I'm just going to... Make this line all the way around it. And that just sets it apart from the rest of the tile and the rest of our designs. We're going to add typically I would turn this tile a lot, but I don't want to make you dizzy. When you aura, go nice and slow. Okay, there's my letter. All right, so now to embed this letter, we're just going to add some fun designs around it and continue to aura. So typically when um, you see an embedded letter in the Zentangle community, 
it has some fescue. I'm sorry, not fescue, mucca. So to make a mucca, we do this roundish like that. So I just followed up the side, put this round thing on, and then I curve back in. That's a mucca. I'm going to add a little bit of a shine to that. And these can go anywhere that you want on your letter. So make that little curly cue and then come down to a point. I'm going to do another little one right here just to show how you can tuck that in and add a second one. And now you can add some fescue. Fescue is the curve with a teardrop shape on the outside. Do a couple of those. And I like to make my pen go along my letter and then come out. Another one right here. Okay. Now often with embedded letters, there's a technique where you can round off these corners. So here's a little corner, round it off. And look at how that adds a little bit of a thickness it makes it seem like it's a little bit more attached. Also going to do one right here. And right here. It's subtle, but it adds a lot. Okay, now that I've had that first round of fescue and mucca, I'm going to aura the whole thing again going very slowly and go around my fescue around the mucca staying nice and close to those lines I have nothing in here so I'm going to add fescue in there. I'm going all the way around. Until I'm done. Now after making that line, I'm going to go back and round out some of those little corners. So right here I've got one. Up here I've got one. Kind of softens them. Adds a little something. Right there. I'm actually going to fill in that whole area between those two mucha. Okay. After doing that, it's time to add a few more accents. I can do the mucha some more. I can do fescue. I can also do um, flux or some orbs. So I like flux. I'm going to put a couple of flux in here. So flux is that kind of an upside down teardrop shape with a line and some dots. I'm going to put one of those right there. I'm going to put one right there. And I'm still kind of going with the flow of the letter. Does that make sense? So right here I'm making those shapes go up and down. Right here they're kind of going out like the letter K would. 
can add one. I don't have much room on the top and the bottom of my letters, but maybe right here I'll put a little fescue. Maybe I'll put two. And I'll put one on top to kind of balance that out. I'm going to add a mucha down here. A little tiny one. And a fescue. Right there. And if I want, I can put in a couple of orbs. And if I do an orb, I'm going to make sure that I ink in any areas um, where the orb is touching the letter, but there's a little bit of space. So put an orb up here. There's a couple of them. And maybe one more right here. Okay, now I'm into the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and outline or aura around this entire letter. Going nice and slow. Concentrating. Things are starting to get a little bit filled up. And this is where you can see where it's good to make that bold letter in the beginning or else it really does get lost. So right here I aurad and I ended up with a little empty space. I'm going to fill that in and then when I come down here there's more space. I'm going to imagine this aura coming out this side. So got a little bit squishy in there but you just play around with it, fill it in. Still auraing. So relaxing. I'm going to go around my orbs. Just like that. All right, now I'm just going to kind of step back and look at it and see if I need to add anything else. And then like right here, I've got a space that was created when my auras touched, so I'm going to fill that in. I'm also going to round out those little corners, little dips. And I just work my way around my whole tile. I love what that does. All the way around. Kind of making those angles smooth out a little bit. Okay. So I think I'm done, but sometimes at the end when I'm finished, I aura the whole thing one more time. Um, I'm not going to add any more shapes. If you feel like yours might need, if it's got some big open spaces and you want to put another round of flux or mucha or the little orbs tipple inside there, go ahead. Otherwise, go ahead and aura it one more time. It just sort of finishes off this cool embedded letter that we made. And oaring is not easy, but it really makes a huge difference on this tile. Okay, my embedded letter is done initial my work and then I always turn my tile over I add a date and then I add a journal entry about what's going on in my life what's going on in my heart and these are so much fun to make
Hope you had a great time. Thank you so much.